summer, 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 yeah, Glory Hole. Here at Glory Hole Water Park, we respect your right to choose things that don't kill innocent babies, like whether or not to vaccinate your child. That's one of the things that makes America great. But due to oppressive health codes, all patrons of Glory Hole Water Park must be vaccinated. But we've made it easy for you. Just walk on over to the tent we've erected across the street and get all of your vaccines. We'll even give you a free day pass. Bring the travel. Spend your summer sliding right into that glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't wait until seven cooler things will happen to me than driving oh. to horse camp. <laughs> I'm gonna make new friends. I'm gonna braid my new friends' hair. I'm gonna braid the horse's hair, and I'm gonna make friends with high school girls who are older than me and know a lot, and they're gonna be nice to me and have hard stars yeah. because they're cool. And all the exercise we're gonna get, you know, riding horses all day and not sitting on our ass in front of the TV. Sure, exercise. Yes, exercise. We are going to be getting up at dawn, shoveling shit, eating peanut butter on whole grain bread. We are going to come back with the right hands on us. Mommy, that might be a side effect for you, but that's not what I'm going to horse camp for. Yeah, well, what are you going to horse camp for? I'm going to connect with the horses, learn about their joys and their trials, so that I can become a more empathetic version of myself, and one day a better euthanizer. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> while I'm there, so that I can be a part of that experience.
some of them are kill me with offhand and things. Offhanded or not, I personally am fighting not to be scarred, miss. Yeah, yeah, mommy. I'm actually Shameful. Mm -hmm. Okay, can everyone relax? At least my child is vaccinated. Your child may be vaccinated, but you survived measles the scars last what? One week? Maybe two, maybe three if it's on your face. Right, but this guy the self hating woman hating body negative suddenly classes to racist stuff. Now that'll scar you for a lifetime. And why would you want your beautiful, perfect babies to have to deal with this for a lifetime when you can't even deal with it yourself, rear back woman? Yeah, like Virgie Tobar says. Oh my God! Oh, you like Virgie Tobar? She's a hero. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we love mm. Virgie Tobar. We can listen to her audio book in the car on the way to the park. Mom, oh, hit it, baby. Here, I'll play it. Controlling women's body size is about controlling women's lives. This claim to control is based on fantasies of masculine superiority bolstered by the culture. This control does not just apply to thinness. All right, well that's the clip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, you know, I, I say, say nice. But you seem like nice. maybe someone could uh, think I want to give you some advice. Why don't you help yourself and your daughter and deal with some of this ingrained, ingrained hatred that you have of you and by extension, her. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't always as self-assured. I used to be kind of a mess. <laughs> you never could see me ordering a steak or wearing a sleeveless dress. I wasn't quite content living this way. Fact shaming, that's a fact. But once I saw how it affected my kids, I had to clean up my act. <laughs>